I've often wondered what George Washington, Sam Adams, and Thomas Jefferson would do if they were alive today. Not much. They would have been in jail. You know, a lot of intelligent people warned me not to do this show. Said I was putting myself in danger. But that's precisely why I'm here today. I refuse to live in fear of my government. We have to take personal responsibility for our lives. They think of us as statistics. They lump us together in groups. 65% of the blacks think like this. 75% of the women think like that. 27% of the Jews think this way. And 61% of the Christians think that way. 50% of the men think this way. And of that 50, of that, of that 50%, 46% of the circumcised ones think another way. <laughs> it's all bull****! individuals that we will ever find harmony and peace. Bill Clinton and I are both white, straight, male Americans. That's four groups we share. <laughs> but do I think like Bill Clinton? I can't stand Bill Clinton! <laughs> I am Aaron Russo before I'm white, before I'm Jewish, before I'm an American. I can't think like all Jews, or all white people, or all Americans. It's not possible. Divide and conquer. It's an old formula. Folks, we've been splintered. My hope is, God, I pray, my hope is that this show, this series can bring all these splinters together into a strong oak tree that can withstand the assaults that we're under so we can once again make our common thread freedom of the individual so we can all be different and still defend each other's rights and appreciate our differences. That's what it's all about. And if you don't allow freedom, if any of you don't allow freedom for somebody else, then you can't have freedom. Do you understand that? 